Welcome to you, Vlogmas. authentic beings. Why am I sitting like away from you? I'm still in bed. I literally just woke up like 10 minutes ago. I wanted to start off this video right away. Give a little background on what Vlogmas is gonna be like. <laughs> because she's gonna be very different than I thought. I have some updates. Been going through a lot. A lot, a lot, a lot. A lot of initiations and I'm so excited that I get to share this period of my life with you guys because I am going through so many shifts and I'm learning so much and I'm actually, you know, implementing a lot of the things that I have learned in my life. First news, Sivrit and I are currently not a couple. It is very, very recently, so I don't want to go into a lot of details because I don't feel completely ready to talk about it. But I did want to let you know because Vlogmas is going to look very different because there's no boyfriend that's going to be a part of it. I was trying to like figure out what I wanted to talk about and what I wanted Vlogmas to like encapsulate because I want to help you guys with all the content that I create I want to give some sort of insight or tip or just like whatever <laughs> what I decided that vlogmas was gonna be all about this year is how to be alone especially during the holidays because you know you see all these lovey-dovey couples and it can get very lonely if you make it like that especially with you know the temperature dropping it's getting colder out I really really hope that you guys stick with me for the this whole month. I just want to let you know now like I am healing so if there is a day that I don't upload it's just because there was nothing to show that day but I want to try to at least do like if it's a two video or two minute video you know I really really I'm gonna set myself the goal to post every day. Today is a very exciting day. I might be getting a tattoo. It's time to pull some morning cards. I really, really wanted to pull one oracle card and one tarot card each day during Vlogmas just to channel any messages that Spirit has for the collective and for me. You can use Monology Oracle cards. Love, love, love this. And then I got a new tarot card deck called Modern Goddesses. I found that so fitting. Give me some guidance on what the collective needs to hear right now. That flew out. <laughs> Okay, I got two cards. Thank you. So we got the full moon in Sagittarius and then the two pentacles. Are you thinking too much about the details of your dilemma? Fretting over minute can be counterproductive or perhaps you're being all talk and no action. This card is a reminder that while it's good to think things through, sometimes you need to step back and look at the bigger picture. What do you then see about your current situation? What's the most positive thought you can have about it? Now is the time to count your blessings even if you don't yet have exactly what you want. This card is also a reminder that we often have to take a few risks and go with uncertainty on this journey called life. Try to keep an open mind about what's for the best. The universe could surprise you. Take time out for a mini break or adventure. Additional meanings for this card. The situation may have come around because you've been distracted. Be confident without being overconfident to win the day. Have you shown that you care? If not, now is the time. Find a balance between speaking your mind and saying too much. The teaching. The full moon in Sagittarius is a time when we are reminded that life is an adventure. There's a big, 
wide world to see beyond our backyard. It's about having fun and being prepared to sail into uncharted territory. It's about big ideas versus details. No matter when you draw this card, it encourages you to look at the bigger picture. Two of Pentacles. This is the card of the juggler, meant as someone who knows how to navigate multiple things at once. It is the ability to find balance in different areas of life, work life, private life, space for relationships, and ourselves, and so on. The Two of Pentacles invite us to find balance, suffused with levity, suggesting that this quality is what allows us to not let daily tasks burden us so that we can live with multiple stimulating opportunities. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Let's get on with the morning. I am getting dressed. I've started to get my clothes out in the evenings. So before I go to bed, I just lay everything out so I know what I'm wearing. I don't have to use any energy, spend any time in the morning. Sometimes I have to switch it up because it doesn't look the same on as I would have liked, but I have picked out my outfit already for today. Let's get dressed. Just layering different little pieces. but I'm getting comfortable being uncomfortable. Learning to trust the process and to know that, you know, it will not always be like this. No, so I'm just using some gel. This is how she's gonna be today. I might wear some makeup because I feel like that will balance out, you know, the bam, bam, bam. <laughs> eating some brekkie. I just wanted to talk a little bit about being comfortable with uncomfortability or discomfort. It is <laughs> such a relevant topic for me at the moment. I'm going through so many changes with my work and my personal life and my looks. Even like getting the tattoo today, like we are constantly going through changes in our lives. And instead of restricting the flow, instead of of kind of like oh no this is uncomfortable I don't want to do this like oh no why not open up and allow 
yourself to feel uncomfortable because I know for me like I've never really liked feeling or known how to feel all these negative emotions that has been happening in my body the more I have been leaning into it and the more I have actually like dipped my toe into the water of being okay with being uncomfortable it has gotten so much easier accepting what is really just trusting that everything that happens is supposed to happen and you're meant to live your most incredible life for you to actually get there you have to be uncomfortable because right now you're here and you want to go up here right so for you to actually climb that mountain it's not going to be easy. It's not going to be comfortable because you're going to have to shed so many layers of who you are and who you have been in the past and form new beliefs and new ways of seeing the world and more confidence and more self-worth to be able to come up here. And doing that is not going to be comfortable. So I invite you for the rest of December, be uncomfortable with me. Do things that put you out of the comfort zone. Doing this is fucking uncomfortable. I am really testing myself to see how much I can really put myself out there and really just step up and become the most incredible person that I know I can be. But I have to be uncomfortable for that. That was my pre-breakfast <laughs> to chat. I decided to not do my makeup because you know what? Let's be uncomfortable. <laughs> I'll actually leave after my breakfast and then I'll just take my computer and stuff with me so that I can sit and do some work before I'm meeting Maria. She's the one that's tattooing me. It's a girl from work and she's so creative. And I love her line and just everything she does. So yeah, I'm not gonna tell you what I'm getting yet, but I will show you once the whole process begins. We are off. I am headed into the city now. I'm gonna sit and edit for a little bit until I am meeting up with Maria. I'm trying to like create little pockets of time <laughs> where I can edit my YouTube videos so I don't have like an, a humongous amount to edit at the end of the night or the next morning. Let's go! sit here and edit this vlog. I realized that I have two hours. <laughs> I thought I only had one, so amazing. I will talk to you guys whenever I see Maria later. The song just reminds me of New York every time. my tattoo. It's not finished yet because my skin got so swollen so we're doing like the inner you saw in the picture. We're doing like the the flowers and all the leaves and stuff another day. Most likely it will be during vlogmas so I will keep you updated on that. Look at her. So excited. I love you know having like a overall 
not theme, but that the tattoos go together. So when she put in, puts in the flowers and all the little things, like it's just gonna work so well with my other tattoos. But I'm gonna leave you guys here for today. It has been so incredible. My last little wisdom of the day, shit is uncomfortable when you start growing. It's inevitable, but learning how to lean into that uncomfortability Becoming comfortable with being uncomfortable is such a game changer. Still working on it myself, but I am definitely on the way and doing things that aren't necessarily growth-based that make you uncomfortable will also help you grow automatically. So this new tattoo is kind of like a symbol of that. Growing, shedding layers of myself and becoming more true and authentic. I will talk to you guys tomorrow. <laughs> That sounds so weird, but I will talk to you guys tomorrow. I would love it if you subscribed, click the notification bell to stay updated with all my other Vlogmas videos that will be coming out this month. Give this video a like and comment down below where you are most uncomf uncomfortable in your life right now. Like what area? Are you also going through a breakup or are you moving or really trying to figure out who you are in your own skin. I would love to know. I will talk to you guys tomorrow.